Hi, this is Yudi. Let's learn Massive. So what is Massive? Massive is a wavetable synthesizer by Native Instruments. And this course is all about exploring and playing with sounds. I'm going to show you pretty much everything that there is to see and learn about this synthesizer. And what I would like to do is I would like to encourage you to try out whatever I'm doing, try out new things, experiment, and have fun. So this lesson is going to be an overview. I'm going to give you some uh, sense of what can be done, what are the parts of this synthesizer. And if you don't know anything about synthesis or synthesizers, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to walk you through all the concepts. I'm going to explain everything in very simple terms and you're going to love it because it's really easy. So let's try and get a kind of a very fast few clicks sound with, with, with this synthesizer, even without knowing much about it. And you'll see how easy it is. You'll see how fast you can get great sounding um, patches. So let, let's see. So right away, when you start the, the synthesizer, you can go to new sound if, if you, you haven't selected that. And this is how it sounds. So this is a saw tooth wave. And if even if you don't know what does it mean, that's the sound. So now I'm going to introduce some filtering here. So this is going to be a low pass filter. I'm going to cut away some or maybe a lot of the high frequencies and it's going to sound like this. I'm going to get the resonance down and right now even as we start I'm going to introduce reverb. So hear it out and next let's play with the envelope. I know we haven't covered envelopes and we're going to do it, but for now, just follow me. So this envelope is already locked to our amplifier and it controls the way our sound evolves over time. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a very fast attack. I'm going to have some decay here, getting the levels down and have more release. So this is going to sound like this. Very nice. Now, let's introduce a second oscillator and we're going to change the pitch four semitones up. And this is how it's going to sound. Very nice. So basically we're, we're done. I mean, I'm happy with this. We can get a little bit more excitement here. Maybe if we going to play with the cutoff. So let's do it manually. And in order to automate that, I can use an LFO. LFO is a low frequency oscillator, which I'm going to use to oscillate, to change the cutoff point. So this is very easy. I'm, I'm just clicking, dragging, dropping and click and drag up. And let's hear what we have. Now I'm going to sync this LFO to our DAW, which is 120 BPM. And let's have quarter. So this is pretty much it. And I think you already seen how easy it is, but we have a lot to learn. So let's get started. I'm going to cover just the basics here and give you um, sort of a tour of what it is that we have in Massive. So the left area here, all these items here, all these machines here are a way for Massive to produce sound. So these are the three oscillators. Each one can be tuned differently. Each one can have different waveforms and each one can have all kinds of 
parameters changed over time as you can see all these slots here and we'll play with that now we also have modulation oscillator which doesn't really produce any sound but it can be used to change and alter any of these oscillators and you can see the the, the options here and we'll cover that as well now here on the bottom we have noise what is noise well noise is noise it's just a random all-round frequencies oscillation so let's hear it out and i'm going to just shut down oscillator one and oscillator two and let's hear what is noise and we have all kinds of noises even metallic noises and we have color for each of them and i can have the noise together with my oscillators and it really adds some analog some life something you know else to our sound so you can use that to spice up your sounds but noise can also be used to create percussions like hi-hats for example so possibilities are endless now next our sound will be routed to the filters and if we have a look at the routing uh, tab here and we'll cover all the main panel here in a later video so you can see that oscillators and all the sound generators are on the left and then we're routed into our filters so what is a filter filter is a device that filters out frequencies so in order for me to show you that very clearly let's just go back to a new sound and let's hear what we have and you can see here that i'm using analyzer which shows me all the frequencies that are generated and an oscilloscope that shows me the waveform so right now we have a full spectrum here we have all kinds of uh, frequencies running but what would happen if i introduce a low pass filter meaning i'm going to let the low frequencies pass but i'm going to cut off all the high frequencies so this is what we'll have so this is the filter so we have all kinds of filters we have also high pass which is pretty much the opposite so i'm going to let the high frequencies pass but i'm going to cut away the low frequencies and we have other types like for example we we have a comb filter which is really something that is used in flangers if you know um, this effect and some other types of uh, effects so we can use that as well so after generating the sound we have our filters and then we're going through some effects and eventually to our amplifier and to the outputs so if we look at our routing here you can see that we have our oscillators and then we have some inserts here what are these inserts in all kinds of places so we have two effects for inserts insert one and insert two and i can decide if i want any of these in in one of these places so i can have an insert here insert one so this is insert one and let's see what kind of effect so we have all kinds of effects and we'll cover that and we, we can have like a, for example a beat crusher and it's it's right here so i i can only have my first insert either here or after the filter so before or after the filter or maybe later in the chain here but i can't have insert one in two places at the same time same goes for insert two so that's the idea and we'll cover that in a later video but we also have a send effect so th these effects fx1 and fx2 are really in parallel to everything else so like i used the the, the reverb and i can introduce that in a dry, dry and wet um, fashion we have size density and color 
And again, we'll cover all these effects in a separate video. So right now, that's the, the basic idea. And eventually, we have an EQ. So I can have the EQ turned on with this little light here, and I can create some um, adjustments to my sound. So that's the idea here. Now, let's go back to the overall um, sound generation to our oscillator. So now we have, you know, pretty um, solid understanding of the parts and what's going on, except the middle here, the main uh, panel here, but we'll cover that soon. So going back to our oscillator, I think it is important to understand what do we mean by wavetable. So you can see here, the label is square sawtooth, and we have a wavetable position, WT position. So have a look at this. I'm going to go back to new sound, and I'm going to play a C note. Have a look at the oscillator. And I'm going to play with the position. So in effect, I'm morphing between square and a sawtooth. And clicking on this label here gives me a whole list of options. And I can have something else. Let's just have, I don't know, let's, let's get this thing here. So this is the idea. We have a stack of waveforms and we are just going through them. We are selecting the position. And in Massive, we don't have any visual representation of that. I, I cannot show you exactly how it looks like, but that's why we have the oscilloscope here to just play and then visualize what we are hearing. So we have other types of, uh, of uh, wavetables. Let's see this one. All right, so if I'll get some reverb here. And it already sounds good to me. You can get a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, low pass here. All right, so this is the oscillator and what we'll do in our next um, lesson will be to cover all the options that we have in the oscillators. But for now, let's continue. So the main panel here is really a, a way for us to control all kinds of options and especially the envelopes and the LFOs. So we'll, we're going to have a separate video to cover everything here. But for now, let's get some basics. So we have the tabs here, oscillators, key tracking for the oscillators, key tracking for the filter, some voicing, routing, and global. And if we go back to our oscillator, we can see some, some options that are very um, common to other synthesizers. For example, we, uh, we have glide here, we have our pitch band, and we have option to uh, change and manipulate the oscillator's phases. And we have oscillator one, two, and three, and the mod modulation oscillator as well. We also have a vibrato that we can introduce here. So if I'm just playing any note. That's the idea here. So that, that's the oscillator tab. If we're going to jump over to voicing, we'll see other options. For example, unison. So what is unison? Unison is playing several, several um, voices at the same time. So oscillator one, for example, can actually be more than one oscillator, more than one voice. But if we're just introducing the same oscillation, the same wave shape, on top of each other, just more and more of the same, we'll just get 
more volume. But what we can do is we can actually spread the unison. So for example, this is how it sounds out of the box. And we can uh, just have more voices. And just playing with our pitch cutoff. Or play with the wavetable position. And the volume just, you know, just went up. So you have to be careful when you're introducing more voices in the unison section, make sure that you're not exceeding your volume, you're not uh, clipping. So that's the idea here. And as we've seen uh, in the beginning of this video, we have routing tab. The routing will show us the uh, entire workflow here. And we can select where the inserts will be and some other options as well, like the feedback and like the bypass um, section here. So we'll get through that, don't worry. So I think this is it for this lesson. And in the next lesson, as I said, we'll cover the oscillators and we'll start creating sounds and we'll start to actually use the synthesizer as, uh, as a tool to produce sound and you know use it as a sound design tool. So see you on the next video and thank you very much for uh, watching. Bye-bye.